dear students in this video we will do check your knowledge question 5 6 7 8 question number 5 why is transport of materials necessary in plants or animals explain answer transportation in animals and plants are essential because all the organisms need to transport water food mineral oxygen to different parts of the body they help in the growth and respiration of the cells the waste products are transported to the excretory organs for elimination from the body in this way transportation of material is necessary in plants or animals or as well as in all living organisms question 6 describe the composition of blood blood is specialized body fluid it has four main components plasma and another we can say cells from the cells means blood cells there are three kinds of cells red blood cells white blood cells and platelets blood has many different functions including transporting oxygen and nutrients to the lungs and tissue question 7 describe how human body get rid of waste to excretion with the help of diagram answer the process by which the waste are removed from the body is called excretion excretory system consists of kidney uterus urinary bladder and urethra first of all kidney when the blood reaches into the kidney the useful substances are absorbed into the blood and waste or harmful substances are filtered out and removed as a urine you can see the picture in this diagram is given of the urinary system in human afterward given here uterus these are the tubes that carry urine from the kidney to the bladder next is urinary bladder it is the urine collecting sac means like a poly bag urine is stored here until it is excreted out next urethra urine is discharged through the opening called urethra in this way urinary system in human human body work like a excretory system explain the difference between our artery and vein first of all artery first point these vessels carry blood from the heart to the various body parts second point carry oxygenated blood from the heart except the pulmonary artery blood flow under high pressure in the arteries there is absence of valves in the arteries now veins now veins these vessels carry blood from the various parts to the heart second point Veins carry deoxygenated blood from the body parts except the pulmonary vein. Third point, blood flows under low pressure. Fourth point, walls are present to prevent the backward flow of blood. So, in arteries there are no walls and in the veins there are walls present. Difference between xylem and phloem. Xylem consist of dead cells their moment is unidirectional xylem transports only minerals and waters from the roots it provides mechanical supports to the plant phloem phloem mainly contains living cells their moment is bidirectional means in both direction phloem transports food material to other parts of the plant it does not provide mechanical support now difference between urea and urine in urea it is chemical compound and it is produced in the liver urine it is mixture of metabolic waste and other substances urine is formed in kidney next difference between heart and kidney in the heart the heart pumps blood filled with oxygen through all parts of your body including the kidney in the kidney the kidney cleans blood removing waste products and extra water without the kidney your blood would have too much waste and water next question difference between red blood cells 
and white blood cells in rbc means red blood cells red blood cells that are also called urethrocytes these cells contain a red protein oxygen carrying pigment called hemoglobin it binds with oxygen and transport it to all parts of the body the hemoglobin gives red color to the blood in wbc means white blood cells that are also called leukocytes these cells provide immunity to the body against disease and infections during infection their number increase there are many kinds of wbc cells